Hi everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Horoscope. My name is Terence Scardino. Communication Mercury continues to be retrograde until June the 11th, that can having us changing our mind and making it more difficult to make a commitment. But this week, you could be experiencing more indecisiveness than usual, so it's important not to make any rash decisions or assumptions. The main reasons are that Mercury will be crossing over in patient Mars on Wednesday, then in tension with foggy Neptune late Thursday into Friday, and finally crossing the Sun on Saturday. But the week begins on Monday with relationship Venus contacting unpredictable Uranus with assertive Mars in tension with dreamy Neptune, and don't forget, Mercury's in retrograde. Therefore, you could experience an unexpected misunderstanding or disappointment with a loved one. Or if you are uh, finding yourself making a new friendship, or even being um, in, you know, being infatuated with a new interest, you need to take it slow as what you may be expecting and assuming about the person may not be true at all. Wednesday, retrograde Mercury is now aligning with aggressive Mars. As you may find yourself to be more high strung and nervous, that can trigger arguments rash decisions, and even accidents. It's important to slow down, breathe, and ask for an opinion from a trusted friend before making any kind of irresponsible or uninformed decisions. Later on Thursday, or late Thursday into Friday, you have to be very careful about your choices because Mercury retrograde will be in tension with dreamy escapist Neptune. That may cause our thinking to be more distracted, foggy, or we may not be as discerning as we should be. This transit can give misinformation, so you need to be careful of what you are hearing or saying. And in some cases, someone could be lying to you. So you need to take everything you hear with a grain of salt. So that's late Thursday into Friday. But on Saturday, now Mercury is crossing back over the sun, giving a day when your mind is more alert and active, full of ideas and choices. But being retrograde, the positive would best be for reorganizing, rethinking, reviewing all your previous ideas and plans, and not really making any new choices. Thus, this can be a favorable day um, as long as you're getting all your ducks lined up in a row so you can make better choices um, in the future. Finally, on Sunday, the sun will aspect Neptune. That can trigger confusions and misunderstandings again. And with work and Mercury in retrograde, it only exasperates the confusions. And But especially with sun Neptune, if you're having any unrealistic expectations. But this can be favorable because the sun can be putting a spotlight on the positive qualities of Neptune, which is more compassion, empathy, intuitiveness, and charity. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you tune in next week for my next segment. Until then, I hope you have a great week, and thanks for watching.